It's Dasha, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, I decided to do another What I Eat in a Day video. As you already saw, I had my morning coffee as well as my chlorophyll water, and I also did a workout. So to break my fast, I'm going to start off with half a cup of blueberries, and one of my favorite breakfasts of all times, which is a smoked salmon sandwich. So I do want to remind you guys that I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian, and the purpose of this video is for you guys to just see what I'm having and maybe you guys will pick up on some new recipes, but I'm not trying to say that the way I'm eating is the right way to eat and that's how you should be eating. So just take this video as entertainment and I hope you guys enjoy. But right now I'm going to get back to eating my breakfast and I'll see you guys at lunchtime. Before I forget, I have to take my vitamins, which I already forgot, but my vitamin D. Okay guys, so it is now about 2.45. I usually have my lunch around 3 p.m. and Truthfully, today I had a very late breakfast, so I'm not too hungry, so I'm just going to put together a salad and we'll try to make it fun. Now you're telling me that it was not enough. I told you that some months ago, but guess it didn't count. I'm here for you, you know. Even if I'm not around, you can wake me up. I will try my best to make you feel alright. I know what you deserve, but no one showed you that. You deserve the world, and I know that love will someday come around. Remember it's alright. Yes, 
surrounded by people that love you Whether wherever you need or go through And fortune you to stay No matter if I'm okay We can cry together if you want to Forever I'll be there to support you And now you tell me Okay guys, so I finished that super delicious salad and I had this random thought that today I want to have dessert after dinner So I figured why don't I share the recipe with you guys since today is all about what I eat and how I make it So today I'm gonna make some paleo apple bars Okay, so you're gonna start off by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and lining an 8x8 pan with parchment paper. Next, you're gonna take three apples that are suitable for baking and you're gonna dice them up, add them into a medium saucepan with one third cup of water and two teaspoons of lemon juice and you're just gonna let that boil until the apples soften. Also, make sure you remove the apple skin. So while that heats up, in a separate bowl you're going to combine 3 tablespoons of coconut sugar, 2 teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, 2 teaspoons of arrowroot starch, and 1 8 teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Once that's all combined, you're going to add it into the apple mixture. So while that cools down, we're going to move on to making the crust. We're going to whisk together half a cup of almond butter, one fourth cup of cashew butter, one fourth cup of maple syrup, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three tablespoons of melted coconut oil. Once that's all combined, we're going to add one cup of almond flour, one fourth cup of coconut flour, one fourth teaspoon of baking soda, one fourth teaspoon of Himalayan salt, and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Once that is all combined, you're gonna press three fourths of the mixture into your baking pan and chill the rest in the fridge. So now you're going to bake it in the oven for 7 minutes and then you're going to pour the apple filling on top and crumble the remaining crust layer on top. So it is now about 5 p.m. and I'm going to start preparing my dinner. I have some rice left over from yesterday, so I'm going to use that for my meal and I'm going to make a chickpea curry. So for this recipe, I'm going to use a can of chickpeas that is 600 milliliters. And make sure you drain and wash your chickpeas before you use them. So we're going to start off by adding the chickpeas into a bowl with one third teaspoon of turmeric, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and one teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Next, we're going to cut 50 grams of an onion. Don't 
To the onions, you're gonna add one tablespoon of ground ginger and one tablespoon of ground garlic. Someday come around. Okay guys, so that wraps up my what I eat in a day video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Also, if there's any other types of videos that you guys would love to see, please let me know. I would love to get any feedback or any recommendations. Bye for now.